him back right there. He's back there. Hey. Hey. We're going to let Chris and Mary ask the first question because A, he works for us, and B, he has a few questions. Stay back here. <laughs> so, and give me some room. Give me some room. That's why we're in here. That's just where I was at. I thought this was my spot. All right, Paul, you're back. Um, what, what's going through your head right now, and uh, can you even believe it's finally the day is here? Oh, uh, man. I probably uh, won't be able to sleep tonight, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited to take this hurdle. Um, you know, all the times uh, leading up to this moment, um, this is what it was about, um, is, is being in shape, being ready, and uh, feeling confident to get back out there. At what point this week, or was it today, that you knew you were coming back for tomorrow's game? Yeah, I mean, I knew all along, um, you know, that it was winding down, not in terms of the season, but um, as far as how my overall health was feeling and the confidence through practices and uh, how my leg was taking it. So um, I felt like, you know, now was that moment. Um, the whole staff, really, um, from Larry to coach to um, the training staff, you know, we felt, you know, this is a great opportunity to uh, get ready for another year. What have your teammates told you as, as they now know the day is here? Now they're happy. <laughs> uh, they're all been happy for me and been supportive for me. Um, it's like a big burden has been lifted. Um, you know, but again, this is just part of the rehab, um, just to get back out there and, uh, you know, get back acclimated to things. What do you want to say to the Pacer fans? Because they have been waiting all year to see you back on the floor. Um, I mean, I'm happy to be back. Uh, I don't want them to think they're going to get a 40, 50 point Paul George, um, but, um, you know, still showing flashes and glimpses of what Paul George was and building towards being to what, um, you know, I'll be in my future, um, which is hopefully a way better Paul George that they came to love. So, um, you know, it's just about taking this baby step and, uh, you know, going forward from here. Uh, Paul George, how long do you how long do you expect to play tomorrow? I don't know. Um, it'll kind of be gauged on um, how my condition is and um, you know how I'm looking um, as far as running up and down. But I think um, roughly from 10 to 15. What kind of what, question from the back? Paul George, am I still gonna be able to take all the shots back there? Yes, <laughs> of course. I'm just there for a spacer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six games isn't a lot. What do you hope to get out of? this relatively brief run? Um, just confidence. Um, you know, confidence really to go into, um, you know, hopefully we can make this playoff push, build off that, um, and then go into the summer with the confidence. You shot away from a 40, 50 point Paul George, but for you, what would you quantify as a successful return on the court? It's not, this wins really. Um, I'm not worried about coming out and, um, you know, scoring a ball or, you know, making you know, crazy plays at this point. You know, it's about getting my feet wet. I haven't played basketball. Um, you know, this kind of live actions in, you know, seven, eight months. So uh, it's really just about getting out there and getting my feet wet. How much you said for a while that you felt like you could give something, mm -hmm. that you were just waiting on the doctors, training staff and coaches. Mm -hmm. When they finally gave you the thumbs up, what went through your mind? Oh, man, it was, it was that, that moment is here. Um, you know, it's here. Uh, all the rehabbing, um, you know, all the time. I mean, I know, uh, you know, as well as much as I'm happy for this, the training staff is happy for this because uh, they they dealt with a lot. Uh, you know, it was a lot of ups and downs, and um, you know, I was going through a lot of bad days. So, um, you know, I give a lot of thanks to them, um, really, because they, you know, helped me through this process, and I was an mf. -er, I'm not gonna lie. How much of this is mentioned the fact about building momentum going into the summer? How much of this is a test drive, just so you can sort of get an idea where you're at, and knowing. Uh, that's what you need that's to exactly do. what it is. It's just seeing, you know, where I'm at, um, and then you know, getting ready for you know more rehab this summer, um, and getting ready to build off, you know, these last couple of games of the season. If All the team was far back in the standings, if the playoffs weren't in the conversation, would you still come back, or would you say, we'll take the extra? Absolutely, game? absolutely. Um, again, it's it's about. Um, you know, this being the last stage of rehab, you know, getting out there, getting some live action, and, uh, you know, getting ready to, you know, build off that this coming season. Do you have any That's hope of, of contributing to a possible playoff run here? You're kind of in some desperate situation right now, but is that in your mind at all, of contributing to that? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're, we have a chance to still make the playoffs, um, you know, so, 
I want to help um, in any way. Um, you know, again, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to um, get get that confidence again. But um, you know, I still want to help the team um, in really this organization um, get back to where we want to get to, and that's the playoffs. When you talk about for getting confidence again, where, where's your mental state right now in terms of not having it? Um, I mean, I'm I'm confident I can go out there and make the plays. You know, the stuff on the court is not what. I'm lacking the confidence in. It's just the moving and, and uh, you know, getting around on the court is where I want to get that confidence again. Um, you know, I got the most confidence in myself basketball-wise that, you know, I was ready months ago to be out there. Um, but it's just about the movement that I want to get the confidence in. Is the confidence like a trust in your body? Yeah, yeah, just trusting my body. Um, trusting and, uh, you know, making sure I'm doing everything equally on both legs. You talked about not getting a lot of sleep tonight. How would you compare your rest tonight to your first night before your first NBA game or game it's, seven? Of it's, it's, it's almost uh, being drafted again um, and getting thrown back out there for the first time and the fans getting a, a, a glimpse of their newest player. Um, it's that same feel. Um, so that's how this feel would be tonight. Luckily, uh, it's good weather and I can get out and fish to tire myself out. How, well, was there was any, it, ever any thought of shutting it down or was it just too important to get some games in before you went into the summer? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was, it, it, there was positives in both. Um, but obviously, um, you know, being a competitor and, and, and seeing the opportunity presented itself where, um, you know, getting a couple games under my feet is, you know, is, it has a lot of positive to it. Um, we went, I wanted to go that route as far as um, knowing what I need to work on to get better going into the summer. Really, that's what it's about. I wouldn't have knew what I could do and couldn't do um, heading into the summer if I didn't play any games. You talked about getting confidence. What will be an I'm back type of moment? What do you envision that I'm back play or what have you? Uh, just be moving defensively. Um, I think uh, still being a shutdown defender um, will, I mean, that's going to come. But just knowing that I can move and, and change directions laterally, um, that'll be a, a, a moment where um, you know, the confidence will come back, trust in the body will come back. Um, and then I'll know that, uh, you know, I'm ready. Paul, when your teammates and entire coaching staff, I guess, found out you were coming back, what was what was their reaction with the team? Uh, I mean, everybody was happy. Um, everybody was happy. They felt like this time, um, you know, it was, was, it was it was going, it was lasting forever, um, not being out there. Um, so everybody was excited for me. Um, you know, I'm still getting, you know, text messages from everyone now um, about this opportunity. But everyone's happy. You know, everybody was supportive through this whole process. Um, it's almost like they're coming back, um, you know, well, in the much, same situation that I was in. I'm sorry. How much contact have you had in practice? Can you, you know, to sort of show that you can take some contact? A lot. I mean, I've been practicing for over a month now. Um, so I've been through it all. I've been through all the contact um, through this last month. Um, almost game simulated as, as much as possible close as possible. Paul, March 28th, when you last talked to us, you said that you were ready, you felt good, others had to feel good too. Um, can you just give us like a timeline from then to now, what changed and what did you do to make those other It was just moving. It was just moving. Um, you know, like I said um, in the previous com or, or interviews, you know, I felt like I was, you know, ready because I was making shots and making plays. Um, but the staff needed to see me move around a lot better. And, and that's where, you know, the gap was um, as far as me feeling good, being on the court, making plays, making moves, um, scoring the ball. Um, and then the staff is like, you know, we need to see you do this better, cut better, um, push off this better. Um, so that's where, you know, all that time was, was made up. Who right. made the final call for you to come back? Who finally said, okay, it's time? Um, well, I mean, it was me, but I had to, you know, pass it through Larry and the whole uh, front office. Um, but it was me. Um, you know, telling everyone that I was ready to play. When did you make that ultimate decision? Was it this morning? Was it yesterday? Or? Um, well, we kind of knew. Uh, we kind of knew that it would be around this time. Um, and, uh, you know, I just told him I was ready. And, uh, you know, I went through a bunch of tests um, leading up to this point um, that gradually, you know, made it possible for me to play this uh, this weekend. You knew for like the last week or so, you knew you mean, is that what you're saying? Or yeah, 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 yeah. My uh, photographer brought up at this point, your last NBA game was against the Heat. Almost appropriate to return against them, isn't it? Yeah, and it, isn't it Easter? 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. The rise of PG. <laughs> um, no, nah, I mean, that didn't, that didn't have nothing to do with it. It was just, you know, ironic with playing Heat. You said that the whole time this was what you've been working for. I mean, could you put the last nine months into perspective, the hard work that you've put in to get to this point? Yeah, yeah, it's been tough. Um, like I said, um, there's been days where, um, you know, I told myself I wanted to shut it down and, uh, you know, get ready for the summer. Um, but, you know, it's great having, you know, the staff that we have um, here to push me through and, uh, you know, keep me going. Um, again, you know, I was, I've had days where I'm sure they hated me um, and I hated them. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we got through it. And they did a great job of being in my corner. You and George spent a lot of time together in street clothes, but what have you seen from him on the court, and how much are you kind of looking forward to playing with this new George? Well, we, we talked about it um, plenty of times um, of, of being on the court together um, with the way he's playing and, and, and as much as he's changed his game this summer um, and how much he can help me, um, you know, when I'm healthy and how much I can help him when I'm healthy. So um, we've, we've had many of talks. And, uh, you know, I think we can be great in the backcourt. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to spend a lot of time this summer and, uh, you know, help one another get better. When the season began, when the season began, did you think there was any chance you would play this season at all? Yeah, I yeah, I was very optimistic um, about returning and playing this year. I didn't know when, um, I didn't know how long it was going to take. Um, but I felt, um, you know, I, I work hard, it's just, as, just as hard as anybody in this league. And I knew, you know, the rehab was going to be a hurdle, but um, if I give it 100%, I was going to be able to return and uh, reach this moment. You said you've gotten a lot of texts, heard from a lot of people. Who have you heard from and what have they said? Uh, well, everyone is just, you know, still supportive and uh, <laughs> asked me if I'm crazy for uh, wanting to return so soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I've been telling everyone I feel confident. Uh, I, I, I feel. Are these and, other players and being players? Uh, it's everyone um, from. You know, coaches, players, family, friends. Can you give some examples of players you've heard from and what they said? Well, I mean, I, I got to check my phone um, <laughs> really now because um, when I made the statement, it was, you know, before we had to go in and do practices. So I haven't really checked. But, um, you know, I've heard from, you know, pretty much almost, you know, a, a lot of friends that I've told before, um, you know, the media got a hold of this. All right, thanks. Uh, we'll have Dr. Tim Huffer here. He's our team. Thank you. 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 Thank you.